Sawe to Skipili and welcome to the next Interpretari. Today we'll be translating Pen at Syringa. This is a very interesting story, a bit strange, so I'm not going to give it away. Let's go ahead and begin with the first few sentences. Olim erat nympha pokra, nomen nymphae erat syringa. In Arcadia habitabat, kentum dei et satiri syringam amabant, sed syringa eos non amabat. That's where I'm going to stop, and you'll translate the rest on your own. So let's begin with the first sentence. Olim is one of those fun words we won't see very often, but it really literally means once upon a time. So once upon a time, erat, there was a nymphi pokra, a beautiful nymph. The next sentence tells us a little bit more about the nymph. It tells us that the name of the nymph, the nomen nymphi, erat syringa, the name of the nymph was syringa. In Arcadia Habitabat, now Habitabat is an imperfect verb, it means she was living, and you can put the rest together in Arcadia, she was living in Arcadia. Kentum Dei et Satiri Syringam Amabant. We're going to look first for our nominative, which is Kentum Dei and Satiri. Um, Kentem means many, literally it means hundreds. So hundreds of gods in satiri, satires, amabant, they loved Syringa. So this was obviously a very popular young girl. But, said Syringa, non amabat eos. Syringa did not love any of them or did not love them. You're going to go on and translate the rest of this paragraph in your interpretari lesson. I wish you the best of luck and we'll see you in the next interpretari.